Hey there, nerds. We're gonna throw some news at the wall and see what sticks. No time for bits, Sam, no time. I wasn't gonna. No time. Okay, okay. Wreck-It Ralph, aka my favorite Disney animated movie that's not Pixar, is getting a mother flippin' sequel. All we've got as of right now is the release date. March 9th, 2018. That's three days before my 42nd birthday. Ooh. No bits. No bits. And this photo with some fun twists on popular websites, so Ralph is hitting the web. How? Not a damn clue, because he's in an arcade thing like that. That's not hooked up to the website, but whatever. You better go against Mario or those characters from Overwatch you keep talking about. Did somebody call a doctor? Difference I don't one get. One shot, one kill. Diva, ready for- No bits. In news that makes two fandoms happy, Tom Felton, aka Draco Malfoy, has been cast in season three of The Flash. Oh my gosh, Harry Potter and DC collide. Hey, 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 hey. No bits. Felton has been cast as Julian Dawn, a fellow CSI that is suspicious of Barry Allen, whatever that means. Like the character doesn't really ring a bell. Hey, no bits. And neither did Harrison Wells, though, so he could be anybody. My money is on Bart Allen or Inertia or who knows, but who cares? We got Malfoy on Flash. Shut up, Potter. Just waiting for that. You stink, Potter. You keep saying no bits. But Wait till my right father there. and the ministry hears about this. Before she does another one, who do you think uh, Malfoy is going to be playing on the Flash in Filthy season three? Mud blood. That's racist. It kind of is. Huh? A little bit, like right? the most offensive thing you can say in the wizarding world. Next up in news, there's new Pokemon. There's over 700 already. So why stop now? Nintendo has shared new videos showing off seven new Pokemon from the latest game, Sun and Moon. Some which were previously leaked, but now it's all official. All official. So let's meet them. There's Drampa, a normal slash dragon type Pokemon who looks cross between the king of the red lions from Wind Waker and our favorite luck dragon, Falcor. Next is Togedoramu. 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 No bits. An electric steel Pokemon that is obviously the love child between people. Pikachu and Togepi. There's Charge Bug, a bug slash electric type Pokemon that looks like an insect magic school bus. Then there's Vikavolt, possibly the evolution of Charger Bug that looks like the new TIE Striker that was announced for Rogue One. <laughs> cute Fly, aka a bug fairy Pokemon whose name speaks for itself. That's a cute fly. Then there's Tapu Koko, an electric fairy Pokemon whose mohawk and shoulder pads are fierce. Uh, fierce, no bits. And then there's Bruxish, a rare water psychic Pokemon that looks like your stepmom who wears awfully revealing clothing and not so subtly flirts with your friends. How did fish learn to put on those lashes, huh? Pucker up. <laughs> so far that means 18 new Pokemon and counting. You gotta, gotta catch them all. Catch them all. Don't gotta. Get can't miss Guess one. Catch all of them. Hey, saying on Nintendo, watch this, will ya? Animation and game studio Ember Studios teamed up with musician Theophany to make this incredible trailer based on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It's telling the haunting, almost creepy side of the game where Link uses different masks to gain different abilities. I really like their take on this, but to be fair, the creep factor was already there. That happy mask salesman has to me, at least, in the face of nightmares. True. Look at that. He's gonna kill you. Not only that, but this laugh, man. Listen to that. <laughs> oh, it's just all kinds of awful. It almost put me off the game. Almost. I'm surprised something like this hasn't come out already. Super excited to see the results. Hopefully Nintendo won't slap a cease and desist on it straight away. Give Link a chance. Give Link a chat. No Give bits. Link a chance. That's Full Link's short film will be out at the end of the year. But that's all we have time for today. Go and enjoy your weekend. I'm Maud. I'm Sam. Bye bye. Like the video. Subscribe. I'll do all that. Damn it. Injustice is one of the best stories DC Comics has created in the past decade, in my humble opinion. Maybe I'll throw some predictions for Injustice 2 as well. <laughs>